So for the first question is for our guest panelists. It says, if the majority of Muslims are nonviolent and one splinter group, i.e. ISIS or Al-Qaeda, can't, uh, and yeah, can't only the logical conclusion be that the minority is in the wrong with the skewed interpretation of the Quran? Uh, well, as far as Islam is concerned, and this will be the same with anything else, um, it wouldn't matter if every Muslim in the world were the most peaceful person in the world. That would not change what Allah and Muhammad said 1,400 years ago. Or if every Muslim in the world were a terrorist, that would not change what Allah and Muhammad said 14 centuries ago. So Islam is defined by Allah and Muhammad in the Quran and the Hadith. Um, it's not determined by majority vote today. If I said, well, uh, lots of Christians are mean, so Jesus didn't teach love your enemies. What, do you, it, what Christians do has no impact on what Jesus did. They're not building time machines and going back and changing the teachings. And so for, if we're talking about what Islam teaches, um, then we don't look to what, what Muslims are doing, although it's certainly relevant and might spur our interest to go and look at what Islam teaches.